What is a stimuli? A stimulus is a type of information that has the potential to make an organism change its behavior. There are two types of stimuli, external stimuli and internal stimuli. External stimuli give an animal information about its surroundings. In other words, external stimuli makes animals aware of what is happening outside of its body. Reaction to an external stimulus requires sensing the stimulus. The five senses, hearing, sight, taste, smell, and touch are used to detect the stimulus. For example, the sound of a predator can cause an animal to run away to avoid being caught. Internal stimuli let an animal know what is happening inside of its body. If a tiger gets hungry, it will be stimulated to hunt for food and to replenish energy. Internal and external stimuli usually interact to trigger specific behaviors. For example, during most of the year, female animals ignore males. However, during spring, external stimuli change the behavior of female animals. Females must be exposed to long days and short nights and spot reproductively active males. This triggers females to release a sex hormone, which is an internal signal that the female is ready to reproduce. Animals have sensory cells that are sensitive to physical or chemical stimuli. These cells may detect things such as light, sound, or chemicals, and they transfer these signals to the nervous system. The nervous system activates other systems in the animal's body that generate a response to the stimulus. There are five general types of sensory receptors in animals. Mechanoreceptors are receptors that allow us to detect touch, monitor the position of our joints, muscles, and bones. The seen corpuscles in the skin can feel pressure from the outside until the body gets used to the pressure and we no longer sense the pressure. Nausea receptors. These receptors detect pain and send signals for pain to the central nervous system until the pain has stopped. Electromagnetic and magnetic receptors detect electric currents or magnetic currents. Sharks sense electrical fields in the final stages of prey capture. Chemoreceptors. They respond to taste or smell or other chemical stimuli. There are also chemoreceptors in the body which help the brain maintain homeostasis by measuring concentration of certain chemicals in the body. Thermoreceptors, they detect changes in temperature. For example, this kitty is told by thermoreceptors that it is cold water. Two types of movement-related behaviors are kinesis and taxis. Kinesis is an increase in random movement. When a bug begins to dry out, it starts to move in no specific direction until it finds a moist area. Taxis is a movement in a specific direction. There exists positive and negative taxis. But what do kinesis and taxis have in common? Both behaviors cause animals to go from a less desirable location to a more desirable location. Many animal behaviors occur in a regular cycle. Animals often use cues such as difference in day length to keep them track of these changes. Circadian rhythm is the daily cycle of activities that occur over a 24 hour period. The sleep-wake cycle is an example of a circadian rhythm. In order for animals to be active during the day, the body requires a period of sleep every night. The circadian rhythm is usually in sync with local day and night times, but not necessarily. For example, 
A person departs in the morning from New York. The person arrives to their destination, London, eight hours later. This person will experience jet lag because his or her body is confused by the time change. The ultradian rhythm is a cycle repeated throughout a 24-hour day. Appetite, blinking are examples of ultradian rhythms. An infradian rhythm is a rhythm with a period longer than 24 hours. The menstrual cycle is an example of infradian rhythm. The average cycle of chimpanzees is 35 days. These activity patterns are controlled by internal mechanism called biological clock. An organism's biological clock is run by a combination of melatonin secretions by the pineal gland in the brain and proteins in the body that can detect changes in light. The suprachiasmatic nucleus is the main biological clock that regulates circadian rhythm sleep. It is found in the hypothalamus. When light stimulates receptors in the retina of the eye, the receptor sends signals to the SCN. The SCN sends signals to the nearby pineal gland, which secretes melatonin, a hormone that regulates the sleep cycle. Hibernation is a behavior in which the animal avoids cold winter temperatures by entering into a dormant state. When this dormouse enters a dormant state, its body temperature lowers, heartbeat reduces, and breathing slows. Hibernating animals prepare for the winter by eating large amounts of food and storing it as fat. This layer of fat provides food source for the animal, but also an additional, additional insulation from the cold. Shorter days and cooler temperatures cause animals to enter hibernation in fall. In the spring, increasing day length and warmer temperatures cause the secretion of hormones that awaken the animal out of its dormant state. Animal Migration Have you ever seen a flock of birds flying southward during fall? Well, migratory behavior allows animals across the globe to fly, swim, walk, or drift in their effort to find food, more hospital, climate, or places to breed. A change in day length during the spring and fall stimulates a change in the bird's brain that controls hunger. This change causes birds to gain weight. An increase in fat storage is needed to fuel the bird's long-distance migration. Natural selection favored animals who learn to take advantage of winds or currents that will carry them to their destinations. Migrants can use the sun, the stars, reflected light, the Earth's magnetic field, and their sense of smell to find their way.